Wow, this top makes me look like I've got extra chins just to add to the fun I'm having with all of this. <laughs> anyway, guys, good morning. Yeah, good morning. <sighs> Welcome back to Sticky My 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. Welcome if you're new. If you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, please like and subscribe. And I am so pleased, guys. Thank you. I hit, it is Monday the 27th today when I'm recording this. So I wanted to say thank you so much. Well, this intro anyway. <laughs> the filming's been done over the last couple of days. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much to everybody. I've hit 700 subscribers. I've got 300 to go until my goal of Christmas, 1,000 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who is supporting my channel and my growth and my journey. Um, if you're wondering why my face is so swollen, oh gosh, do you remember doing that as a kid? <laughs> I'm so childish. Um, if you're wondering why my face is so swollen and you're new here, I have suffered three cyst rupture on my brain. So I'm a brain injury survivor. This happened in May and I came out of hospital in July. So yeah it's been a long journey um my recovery is getting there slowly very slowly um i think what i'm mostly fed up with is the swelling from the steroids and the like spotty zitty cysty withdrawals from the the steroids which seems to always come apart on my neck anyway so that is the long and short of it um i am recovering every day a little bit more um, I am getting stronger every day. I'm still incredibly weak. I'm still incredibly fatigued. I'm still incredibly swollen. But as you can see, my cheeks are a lot softer. I'm not eating my cheeks when I'm eating my food. Um, yeah, so I think that's enough rambling. It's uh, like two minutes. So with all of that said, let's get into today. Yeah, with all of that said, let's get into today's video. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. If you're new here, this is my cat Chili. Where he's got a black tail and he's always under my feet. Well, when I say he's, on, he's under my feet, since I've got sick, he has always been around me. He's been sat next to me on the bed if I've been recording or um, working or you know just anything. He's always been around me. And now my daughter has had croup over the last week, and he has literally sat with her the whole week. It has been so nice to see. And he's the cat that usually disappears when the weather's nice and comes in when the weather's a bit rubbish. But he has literally stayed by our side the whole time while we've been sick. So now we call him Dr. Boo. And he's all white with a black tail. So when you see him walking with his tail and you're expecting a black cat to come out. And then all of a sudden a white cat comes out. Yeah, he was um, so-called the runt of the litter. When he was born, he was always cold. And that's why they named him Chili. And the name has stuck. And he is now waiting for his breakfast. So I'm going to sort that out for him. I bought this coffee pot. I can't think what it's called because, as you know, I can't or I don't like the taste of coffee since I've had COVID and it's got even worse since I've had my cyst structure. So I've got this Amaretto coffee grinds. So I'm going to put it in the pot. I'm going to let it sit and brew overnight. Lovely. Stick it in the fridge. Um, but I do use boiling water to start it off. And then I'm going to make my iced coffee. There's my Sammy. 
um, my robot Moa. Absolutely love her. She's doing a fantastic job keeping my grass looking like AstroTurf. I absolutely love her. And to be honest, I can just only now in the last week and a half been able to manage to hold the Dyson to actually vacuum. Not that I need to because I've got Sally. But so having Sammy around has been an absolute godsend blessing in disguise as well as I don't have to mow the grass. But I also find it very therapeutic watching her. Yes, my daughter named Sammy and Sally. <laughs> So I'm just changing over the washing now um, as my rule of thumb. If you're new here, one load a day, put it away. And I try and stick to that every day. As the song has just said, I see something coming up on the horizon. Let me clear my distractions. We have got two new members of the family coming to visit us or stay with us. And we are getting them tomorrow. Unfortunately, I actually was asked to help out um, a friend of ours who's taken seriously ill. So we are getting two kittens and it's Pixie and Binks and I'm getting them tomorrow so you'll see them in the next video probably there are tiny little so little sweethearts but the irony is that we actually said yes to having them the day before Grebo was taken to the vet and got so seriously ill and uh, Grebo was my little lamb and when he had his Nicky knockers chopped he became my little lamb chop so we are not replacing Grebo in any way we actually said that literally the day before and talking of ironies, my will came through the day before, sorry, the day after I ended up in hospital. I'd sorted out my will and everything and yeah, I ended up getting sick and my will came back from the solicitor the day after I ended up in the hospital. Guys, if you haven't got a will, get it sorted. It doesn't matter if you're 12 or 52 or 72, get your wills sorted. It's a small piece of paper that really can depict everything especially if you get sick and you're unable to look after yourself you need something in place guys it's uh, everybody puts it off it's a terrible conversation to have but you need to get it sorted my daughter is sorted if something happens to her dad and me you need to get a will sorted guys please it doesn't take much for a brain injury as i've said now I've just sorting out the dishwasher, washing the bottles, and I'm going to speed this up so that you don't have to sit through another day of me washing bottles. saying to Matt this song reminds me of a bit of Bob Marley and Khalees what do you think you know um trick me the song trick me let me know what you think of the song rise above the dough need all my challenges and search for my strength I defeat them all I'm never ever gonna hide no more I come to love myself again yeah for all the things I didn't know the pain the hurt I let it go
now as you can see I've been cleaning bottles for about two or three minutes and my back is absolutely starting to kill me. I have got a cyst right at the base of my spine. Um, fingers crossed nothing's going to happen with that but that was becoming really really painful sitting there and that is why I'm still using the perch to this day when I'm in the kitchen but I was almost finished it wasn't worth pulling the perch to the sink to finish washing the bottles. Uh, it's part of my weakness and I am going to get stronger. This is my handheld vacuum. One of them I actually bought for the car. I've got another one upstairs, but this is the one in the kitchen that hasn't ended up in the car yet. So when we have, we've had tiger loaf with soup and there's just crumbs everywhere. So instead of just chucking it all on the floor for Sally to pick up, I just thought I'm just gonna vacuum it and then I can just throw it straight in the bin. Because I'm so lazy, I don't want to use the cloth to wipe it all up and then have to keep rinsing it and then it goes down the drain. But now I'm gonna move on to my fridge. I usually take the shelves out and clean the fridge like that um, stick it in the dishwasher but one it's not actually that dirty and two I just haven't got the strength to keep going up and down up and down getting into my fridge so I'm standing on the perch here and I'm just going to give the fridge a good wipe out I am going to wash my cloth um, but it just needs a basic freshen up I suppose you need to clean your fridge guys because there's so much bacteria and things spill and yeah so I'm cleaning my fridge today it's one of the jobs on my to-do list that I've had on my to-do list for about two months now but I haven't had the strength to do it. City lights are making me want to be Something else that I'm meant to Spending time reminiscing of what it used to be Not letting go when I want to Wishing I'd be on and on I got these demons by my side We've got some of those um, like Swiss roll little cake bars um, in the fridge. So I'm just giving one to my daughter and I'm going to sneak one too. Uh, and I'm going to wipe down the bins with the semi dirty cloth. And then I'm going to put the cloth in the wash basket ready to go so that it's been on the bins. It's not going to be used on another surface. Now, those things that I had in the drawer, the dividers, um, yes, they were lovely, but they don't really work in the kitchen drawer. They did make my drawer look really nice and I did it a couple months ago but I've had enough of having to keep pulling the knives out from underneath the dividers. So I bought these little containers in B&M and I'm just going to rearrange my drawers. My drawers are so narrow that I can't really have like these expandable ones or anything else. They're only 34 centimetres by 43 centimetres so there's not a lot of space. So I'm just trying to make the best of a bad situation. I've got a lot of cutlery but and a lot of tat and no storage. Believe it or not, my kitchen is huge, but I literally have no storage in my kitchen. So I'm just going to rearrange all the bits and bobs and keep the baking stuff together, all the cutlery together. I'm not going to separate it into the good stuff and the, you know, the everyday stuff. Um, and just try and reorganize it. So I'll leave that with you. So guys, don't forget um, to follow me on 
YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon if you're interested to support my channel financially. And I'm also on Facebook as well as I've got my own website, stickymess17.co.uk, where you can find Amazon deals, all the products I use in my home. Um, the, also, the products will also be linked in the description box, but I'm also on Instagram. So there you go, guys. Thank you. time to move on to my lounge as you can see my daughter's had a whale of a time having a blast in the lounge this is my lounge my dining room my everything room my junk room and all my daughter's toys are just everywhere so I'm going to tidy them up before I go into the lounge to really give it a clean I need to lift the sofa cushions which you won't see in this video I don't actually think I recorded it but anyway um that is a job that hasn't been done I'll be honest in about six months I used to do it weekly but I just haven't had the strength so quick tidy up pick everything up put everything in my catch-all basket which is in the landing uh, in the hallway um, that needs to go upstairs give everything a good wipe down and yeah that's my lunch done too I'll be honest with you right while whilst I was in hospital it's four weeks I literally lay on my back I came home I spent a good eight weeks laying on my back so my muscles and that have obviously turned to jelly I am sort of getting my strength back and I've as I say in the last week and a half I've only just managed to be able to hold the Dyson to actually give it you know use it because the Dyson's not heavy but you know when you're weak it is quite heavy and awkward so I cleaned downstairs, as you've seen, I've done the kitchen, I'm now doing the lounge. And the next day, as in yesterday, my feet were so sore from being on my feet for, I don't know, 
half an hour, an hour. Um, and to the point where I was unable to walk because I was just in so much pain yesterday. But it's all part of my recovery. So it's no different to if I'd run a marathon and I was stiff the next day, I suppose. So I'm not, you know, moaning about it. But my feet, oh my goodness. I just can't seem to believe in the thought the mop i am using here is the e-cloth mop i am an e-cloth addict hi um i absolutely love my e-cloth i haven't used my e-cloth mop for a while because my robot vacuum um does sweep and mop so whilst especially while i've been um sick i have had sally my robot vacuum sweeping and mopping and vacuuming my house but i do want to give it a little bit of a better mop not that sally doesn't do a good job but i want to try and get into grooves that maybe she can't reach show you something really interesting something i've never seen before right now we had a kebab outside the other day and this is obviously a slug in my garden because we were eating outside and i dropped a piece of chicken for my cats but the slug came over and started eating a piece of chicken i thought they were supposed to be herbivores but yeah he was it was there for a good five minutes and then my cat decided to pinch it so i hope to goodness she doesn't get sick but i've never seen a slug eat chicken have you have you ever seen a slug eat meat that is so weird i mean they're not the cutest of creatures but um i just found it fascinating <laughs> well thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it don't forget to like and subscribe turn on those notification bells so you're notified every wednesday and sunday 10 a.m when i upload a new video don't forget to check out another video if you wish to support my youtube you can watch another video or like and subscribe every little helps Sorry about the uh, pun. If you're from the UK, you'll understand. Um, enough rambling, guys. Look after yourselves. Look after each other and look after your brains. It doesn't take much to have a brain injury. Mine was caused by a cough. Anyway, guys, take care. See you. Bye.